Hi everyone, my name is Vidur and I'm a Senior Systems Engineer in Juniper Networks for MIST Wireless. In this video, we're going to discuss about the MIST portfolio, what they have to offer, the number of access points that they have, uh, what do they support in WAN assurance, wired assurance, Wi-Fi assurance, and the kind of uh, subscriptions that they offer. Here's how the snapshot looks like of what, what, what Juniper Mist has to offer. It's an AI-driven enterprise solution which runs on a microservices-enabled architecture, uh, the heart of which is AI and ML. We all know that, how, how Mist has transformed the way people look at networks now. Uh, uh, what they have to offer is basically a few services that you see on the screen in the second line. And then at the bottom, you see the portfolio and the number of APs uh, that, that MIST has. We're going to talk about all of these one by one. Uh, this, this video is going to be small, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, starting from the, the AP models, we have AP12, AP32s, AP33, AP43, AP63. All of them are .11ax compatible APs. And AP41, which is not in this video, but that's that's uh, in, in this snapshot as well. That's the uh, AC Wave 2 AP, .11ac Wave 2 AP. All of them are uh, AP43, AP63 are, and AP33 are 4 cross 4. AP32 also is 4 cross 4. Uh, AP12 is 2 cross 2. AP12 is basically used for hospitality sectors like, uh, you know, or, or a dorm room in, in, in colleges and hostels. Uh, AP33, AP32 is a 4 cross 4 AP on, on, 4, on, on, on 5 gigahertz and 2 cross 2 AP. Uh, 2 cross 2 on 2.4. Similarly, uh, AP33 is again uh, 4 cross 4 on 5 gigahertz and 2 cross 2 on 2.4. AP43 is 4 cross 4 on 2.4 and 5 both. AP63 is again 4 cross 4 in 2.4 and 5 both. Uh, we're going to talk about BT11 in a while. So, on in the in the other uh, in in the AP models, AP63, 43, 33, they all have 16 antenna for VLE, right? Whereas AP32 doesn't have uh, a 16 antenna for VLE, it has one Omni, Omni, Omni uh, VLE radio. Uh, BT11 on the other hand is specifically a, a box for Bluetooth location services. That doesn't have a Wi-Fi radio. It only has the Bluetooth 16 antenna for VLE. So wherever in locations where you want to deploy just location services, you go ahead with this box. Mist Edge is another appliance that they offer. Uh, what this appliance does is this is this is a tunnel terminator, right? It, it it terminates the data from all the APs into a centralized location. For example, I have multiple sites uh, around around the country, and I, I still want all my guest traffic from all the sites to be to be going out to the internet from my headquarter. So what I will do is I will actually put one mist edge device in the headquarter, and I will configure all the APs to send out the guest traffic onto the mist edge. I'll create a tunnel between the AP and the mist edge and all that traffic will be tunneled back to the mist edge and be sent out to the internet centrally wherever you want it to go. So that's that's how mist edge works. This again works on the principle of AI and this this has three models where you, you know which basically relies on the number of access points terminating on it. So you can actually get more information about this, whether it's, uh, for example, how many APs that we want to terminate uh, terminate the mist edge with, uh, the, the, the license will depend on that. Uh, from from the wired infrastructure, we mist has been really instrumental in bringing the wired world also in, in the mist dashboard. We They support uh, uh, 4600 series of, of switches. In fact, all the EX models that they support right now, they're actually working on integrating the higher models as well. Uh, into the MIST dashboard. They in, now MIST has also launched WAN Assurance uh, and, and WAN infrastructure is also integrated into the MIST dashboard which 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 takes care of the SRX that they have uh, also can be managed from the MIST dashboard now. In services, they offer Wi-Fi Assurance which is the minimum that you need for the APs to come up and hit the cloud and connect and, and service the clients. That's the minimum, so that's the one service that you need for the APs to come and connect to the internet, uh, to the cloud. Wired Assurance, if you want to use uh, the switches as well to be managed, fully managed by the MIST dashboard, Wired Assurance is the way to go. Uh, WAN Assurance is for the SRXs to be managed by the MIST dashboard, you use you need Wired Assurance. WAN Assurance, this is pretty new. Uh, we'll come to the updated one in, in a while. So Premium, premium Analytics is, the, is, is another service that they offer. This is for enhanced analytics and uh, data retention for almost a year, almost a year of, of all the network analytics that you have. Uh, even for a special COVID-19 use case that they run where, where you, you know you can do proximity tracing and hot zone congestion alerting and, and all sorts of good things. 
this is this is this is another extra service that they offer if you want analytics to be run for one year uh, in the system and, and get data out of it uh, user engagement and asset tracking are the location services uh, subscription that they offer user engagement comes for uh, proximity messaging uh, let's say a, a person wants to enter a mall uh, you know he gets a personalized message on the on the on the phone saying welcome to the mall 20% discount on on starbucks or 20% discount on us polo summer sale so that is that is the kind of engagement that that mist also supports uh, we will go in depth about that in, in in another video but this user engagement license or subscription is used for that along with this if you want to do indoor wayfinding that's also uh, basically indoor wayfinding is you know you're having a google map experience just indoor in, in into the campus you know you're walking in the office or you're walking in in a in a in a university where you don't know where the classroom is you can just you, do, you know click on indoor wayfinding and then you know you your path is going to be carved out in front of you in the application that's another use case for the use case filled by the user engagement is a subscription asset tracking is is something if you want to track important assets in, in in the area you can use asset tracking on that you can actually have the assets you know stuck with a BLE tag and the APs which which have the 16 antenna for BLE can listen to it and do and do asset tracking on that so that's the subscription for that uh marvis is uh, so coming to the marvis subscription marvis virtual network assistant this is the uh, AI engine that NIST has. Uh, so, so they call it Marvis. So, since you, you you've all heard about Iron Man Jarvis, right? So, NIST calls it Marvis. That's how it. That's how I think the name came up. And Marvis uh, is is the is is the agent that under, that works on NLP, natural language processing. It's the AI engine that understands your natural language and, and gives you results. Uh, you know, on on top of that, that's that's if you want that service, you have to have a separate VNA license that NIST offers. So I think we have we have covered up pretty much everything on this, uh, and if you have any questions on any anything that Mist has to offer, whether it's the AP model number or the wired assurance uh, switch model number, SRX, Mist Edge, or any subscription that they offer, uh, let me know, and I can address that in the in the comment section. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Uh, you have a good day.